Dr. Frank Mjalose was born in rural Ngutu in northern KwaZulu Natal in 1931. He studied at St. Francis High School in Moran Hill before graduating as a medical doctor from the University of Natal in 1958. He worked at King Edward Hospital for two years and later started a private practice. Dr. Mjalose became involved in politics while at university between 1950 and 1953. He was an active member of the ANC Youth League. He then joined the Inkaata at its launch in 1975. Inkaata, which later became the IFP, became his political home for decades. Dr. Mjalose held different positions in both party and the KwaZulu-Natal government. Many have credited him for his role in helping end the political violence between the IFP and the ANC. But he says not everyone recognized his contribution. Some of them actually said so openly to me that they thought I was selling out to the ANC. But incidentally, when we spoke with Mr. Jacob Zuma, on his side too, there were those that were saying he was selling out to the IFP. Mjalose says political tensions were visible even in government between the IFP and the ANC shortly after the 1994 elections. He worked closely with former President Jacob Zuma. There was that situation which was at the beginning rather tense but well, we had to manage it, which was understandable because we had come out of a situation where there were, you know, obvious quarrels and fights and bloodletting among the people of the province. Professor Otin Ngumalo was the provincial director general during Mjalose's tenure as premier. He describes Mjalose as a selfless and dedicated leader. A leader is perceived as uh, being um, amenable to uh, change, to accommodating other people. When you accommodate people that you have been uh, opposing or competing with, you are not necessarily uh, selling out or giving in, but you are actually charting a way forward. Mjalose retired from the Inkata Freedom Party in 2005 to join the Democratic Alliance. During his death, he had retired from politics and was running his own foundation which focused on grooming young leaders. He is survived by his wife and children. Simpiwe Makanya, SABC News, Durban.